Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today I'm going to teach you how to set up your vendors in QuickBooks Online. You can view all 46 of our free QuickBooks Online tutorials by googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials. So let's start at our QuickBooks dashboard. If you don't already have a subscription to your QuickBooks, you can get a 30-day free trial by clicking the link below this video. To manually input our vendors, let's go to Expenses in our left menu bar and then Vendors. This lists all of our current vendors. To add a new vendor, we simply click New Vendor. Most of the information on this screen is pretty self-explanatory. A um, couple items of interest, the display name as. This is the only thing that's actually required. Um, your attachments down here, you can attach documents. These are the same type of documents that you'd put in a paper vendor file. So perhaps your contract with the vendor, maybe a vendor's uh, price list. Um, perhaps a certificate of insurance from the vendor, whatever you would normally put in your paper vendor file. Um, if you have to uh, issue a 1099 to this vendor, you'll want to check the 1099 box here and then enter either their business uh, EIN number, employer identification number, or their social security number. Um, the opening balance for the vendor would be anything that you owe the vendor that is not going to be entered in QuickBooks. So if you're going to enter the bill in QuickBooks, don't enter it here as an opening balance. But if you're not going to, if you're transferring over from an existing system, you're not going to enter the bill specifically, then you'll want to open that, put that as an opening balance, essentially a beginning balance for QuickBooks. Great. Okay, so that's the vendor information that you need to enter. Um, so kind of keep in mind all of these different field names because next I'm going to show you how we can import a huge batch of vendors all at one time from a spreadsheet. So if we're inputting vendors as we go, once we're established on QuickBooks Online, we're entering the vendors as we go, this is going to be the way you want to do it. However, when you're first transitioning over from a previous system, you want to import all of your vendor information at one time from a spreadsheet as it'll be much, much quicker. Almost all accounting software will give you some way to export your vendor information. If it doesn't have an export function, if you can simply print your vendor information, there's almost always a way to get it into a CSV file um, that will save you time then in importing it into QuickBooks Online. So let's look at how to import all of these various fields into QuickBooks Online. So I'm going to close the vendor information screen and now let's go, instead of clicking new vendor, let's click import vendors. And this is going to bring up a very handy wizard that will help us import either a CSV or Excel file or a Google Sheet. Today I'm going to illustrate it with an Excel file. So first, let's download their sample file. This is going to show us exactly how we should have the Excel file formatted. Okay, so this is opening in another monitor. I will slide it into your view shortly. Great, okay. So here we have the Excel file. This is the sample that QuickBooks Online gives us. So you'll notice in each column is one of the variables that we want to import. Now this is their sample call, this is their sample spreadsheet. So these names happen to match perfectly the names that are in QuickBooks Online, but that doesn't have to be the case. So um, perhaps instead of name, since this is the person, maybe instead of name, uh, this actually says officer, and that would be fine. These don't; these variables don't have to match perfectly. We'll still have the ability to map them to the proper uh, QBO variable when we get into the next stage. Okay, so variables across the columns. The first row has to be the name of the variables. After that, each row is a separate vendor. Great, and that's all you need to do in your spreadsheet. Um, quick. Uh, tip here, QuickBooks Online for this import process only acknowledges the first sheet. So don't use sheet 2 or sheet 3. Your spreadsheet has to only be on sheet 1. Otherwise QuickBooks Online won't recognize it. Great. Okay, so I am going to close this vendor file and we're going to go ahead and import this sample sheet so we can see what the import looks like. So we need to browse and select the sheet. So that should be in my downloads document and it is right there. I'm going to open that. Okay, um, so I'm going to hit next. 
this is going to bring me to the mapping screen so this is what I talked about these are all the QuickBooks online fields these are the fields in your spreadsheet so these are the are the names of the variables that you placed in that first row for each column now again since this is their sample spreadsheet things match perfectly but even if the names didn't match perfectly you could go through here and make your mapping assignments okay should be no problem so everything's mapped in here let's go to the next step the next step here is actually going to uh, give us one final chance to change any of the information that's being brought in. So if you see some, a mistake, you don't have to go all the way back to the spreadsheet. You can actually just make the correction on this screen prior to it being imported. So if you know there's a mistake on the spreadsheet, it might be fastest to actually change it here. It's certainly faster changing any mistakes here than once they're imported and you have to go through vendor by vendor and change them. So notice down here in this last row, all data is for sample purposes. So this is just garbage, right? This was a little note they had after their list of vendors. And so if we were to import it now, it would actually import this as a vendor, which is just garbage. So I'm going to unclick it. We don't want to import that vendor. If there's other vendors in your list, for some reason you don't want imported, you can just go through and deselect them on this screen. Okay, and so now you would click import and it'll import your entire spreadsheet of vendors uh, in a matter of minutes. Could be hundreds and hundreds of vendors. Uh, piece of cake. Much, much faster than entering them by hand. I'm not going to import these because I don't want them in my file. Um, but you'd click import and you'd be done. I'm just going to close out without saving it. And there you go. That's how easy it is to both enter vendors manually in QuickBooks Online or to import them all at once in a spreadsheet. For more of our tutorials, please Google free QuickBooks Online tutorials from Fit Small Business. I appreciate your time and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.